I want to begin the journey by reconnecting with some old friends and tasting the comfort food of my childhood, the traditional Asturian taste of pleasure. Hola. Hola. ¿Qué tal? Bienvenidos. We are having a special lunch at Casa Marcial, a double Michelin star restaurant run by Nacho Manzano. His wife, Dulce, is also a world-renowned chef with her own restaurant nearby. And Marcos Moran is head chef at my favorite restaurant in the world, Casa Gerardo. These guys are three of the top chefs in all of Spain and three of my best friends. They are hosting an Asturian feast just for us. We're going to be in a better place with better people. My dad is so excited right now. I think he's thrilled bringing us here back to Asturias with him and his friends is just absolutely amazing, I think, for him. Let's do this. <laughs> for Asturias. Hola, viva Asturias. Y los Asturianos, y las Asturianas. For the appetizer, Dulce has cooked her specialty, Asturian tortos. They are like crispy and salty Asturian fritter. On top, caramelized onions and a local blue cheese. This is right. spectacular. Marvelous. Mm -hmm. Wow. Dad, how come we've never had tortas yeah, before? So I intent to hacer este plato muchas veces. I really tried. Never? I remember I came to see you many, many years ago and you showed me the technique. But this is a dish I'm very scared to make. These crunchy corn fritters are a local staple, invented centuries ago by Asturian miners. I think I'm going to take the last one if no one wants it. I want it for myself. Oh, man. <laughs> wow, it's so crunchy, huh? Can you hear? It's crunchy, it's creamy, it's sweet. Wow. Time for the main course. Fabada, the heart and soul of the dish. Local Facelus Bulgaris are the finest beans in the world. Look at that. It's like it really falls apart. Very softly. Look at it's so battery. And the skin, that's what people don't understand. Anywhere outside Asturias. Yeah, that is the bean with no skin. No skin. It's almost skinless. Okay. This is the reason this bean is so good. The beans are slow cooked with a spicy chorizo silky pork belly, and morcilla, a rustic blood sausage. In many cultures, meat is at the center. Oh. But this, what we want is to eat the beans yeah. that go alongside the meats. The meat give the flavor and give the personality to the fabada. But it's a side. Yeah, I know. Fabada looks humble. <laughs> the dish is almost 150 years old. It's from a time when Asturians were poor farmers, living off the land. But today, this peasant food remains as popular as ever, a symbol of Asturias and its people. Pabada for him is very special. Every time he prepares it, I just like see his behavior and his attitude. Just his completely, passion. His passion just changes. <laughs> Every time I see Pabada, I feel like singing all the popular folk songs of Asturias. Don't you? You're at home. He's opening up his world to us, and I think that's very special. Yeah. It's riquísimo, eh? Mmm. Mmm. Oh. My mother cooked an incredible fabada, and this dish reminds me of her and of my home. I left Asturias when I was very young, no? I went to Barcelona. Like my first communion, I celebrated it in an Asturias restaurant, and the dish obviously was fabada asturiana. Uh -huh. My mom was like crying because I guess this plate symbolized who she was, and in a way it has really influenced who who I am too. Tortilla is from Spain, paella more or less is from Spain, but fabada is from Asturias. Es como el plato que, fabada une. que acoge, ¿sabes? Como... La fabada une. Eh. The fabada brings people together. Finally, we are having my favorite dessert of all time. Arroz con leche. Rice pudding. In Asturias, we caramelize a layer of sugar on the top using a branding iron known as a quemador. I'm hearing the noise of heaven. It's perfect. I think my daughter's not bad. You, you're a good teacher. Look at this. Ooh. 
with the crunchy sugar in the top, the milk, the rice. Wow. <laughs> wow. Mira, yo fabada todos los días no podría comer. Pero arroz con leche sí, tío. <laughs> What a meal. A chance to share a bit of my childhood with my three daughters. For me, being here, surrounded by this beauty, days like today, eating with friends, I know who I am. <laughs>